Hello, welcome to episode two of Coding Terraria in Python. So today we're going to handle um, basic sprites and sprite groups. So for this, we're going to have to cover a couple topics. The first one is um, sprites and like and what recs are. So recs are basically rectangles, and these rectangles have a couple different values. Uh, so here I'm going to go into paint, and I'm going to explain this because it's very, very important for all types of high game stuff. And by the way, recs and their style is used in all sorts of game frameworks and all that sort of stuff. So this is very useful knowledge. So here we're going to have our basic rect here, which is just a rectangle. And it doesn't have to be a rectangle, it could also be a square. And this has a couple things. So it has an X and a Y position, traditionally um, addressed by its top left corner. And then it has a width and it has a height. And then it has a couple other convenience methods, or not methods, um, properties like the left, the center, the right, et cetera, et cetera. You can address them as from these uh, different properties. However, these are the two important things, the position, the width, and the height. Um, and so with this, we can basically use this to create sort of like a bounding box. And this bounding box can be used for a ton of different things. One for tracking the position of the player, uh, another one for tracking collisions, um, another one for using it for drawing primitive sprites. Um, and so that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. Instead of using um, our own little drawn textures, for, th for the time being, we're going to just draw the texture um, from our rect. So this will help us visualize what recs are doing and all that sort of stuff. So let's get into it. So for this, I'm going to create a new a new file here. And this is going to be our uh, scene, scene.py. This is where our actual um, scene is going to happen, our, our entire world here. And so for this, I'm going to import Pygame. And I'm also going to import everything from globals. And we're going to create the class for our scene with a constructor. And this constructor is going to take in um, the application that is running, which is our main. And here we're just going to assign self.app equals app. And then we want to do, and then we want to create um, a, another loop for this. So we're going to do a def update self pass def uh, draw set itself with a lowercase s and pass. And you'll notice that we don't have a run method here because we're going to be just calling these inside of our own update and draw here. So with this being said, let's go ahead and uh, use this. So what we're going to do just to make sure that we have our scene connection working here. We're going to fill the screen with a color. So I'm going to do self.app.screen.fill and I'm going to fill it with red. And so what we're doing here is we're going into the app object that we send. We are finding its screen variable and then we are using the fill method to fill it with red. So here we're going to create this scene. Uh, so I'm going to go right here. I'm going to do self.scene equals scene and we have to import scene first. So we're going to do from scene imports the scene class. So here we have the scene class. We're just going to send itself. Sending itself means that we are actually sending the object that this is. So we are sending it this game object that's going into this scene and being assigned that variable. So now here, what we can do is, um, instead of filling the screen with our own, we are going to do self.scene.draw. And then here in the update, we're going to do self.scene.update. And now if we run this, you'll see a red screen, meaning that our connection was successful and we are now running the scene. So now that we have this, let's make it a little more of a pleasant color. Let's go back to light blue and let's create our first sprite. So for this, we're gonna create a new file. This is gonna be sprite.py. And this sprite is going to inherit from Pygame's built-in sprite class. And we'll talk a little bit later about why we're doing that. First thing you wanna do is import Pygame. And then you want to um, import all the variables from globals. And we're going to create a class and we're not going to call it sprite because we don't want collisions with Pygame sprite class. So I like to call it um, object or entity. Um, actually, entity is probably the better one. So let's go ahead and call it entity. Uh, and this entity is going to inherit from uh, pygame.sprite.sprite. .sprite. Um, so you can see why we didn't call it sprite because it, it's a little confusing. And we're going to create a constructor for this. If you press tab, it should autofill the things that you um, that it wants. However, we can simplify this down to make it look less crazy. So for this, I'm going to just put for the argument self and groups, and then I'm going to do a super call super dot init and send it the groups. What this is doing is um, sprite classes work with what's known as sprite groups, which is where you can group your sprites into different groups and do different things like drawing them and updating them in these groups. And so whenever we create the an object of this entity class, we will send it a, a list of groups or a singular group, and it will be sent to this um, super constructor, which will put this sprite inside of those groups. So for example, we'll have a sprite, we'll have a group for visible sprites, we'll have a group for blocks, 
we'll have a group for enemies, stuff like that. And this is just an easy way to organize it that Pygame comes built in with. And there are two uh, variables that are required for these sprite groups to, or sprite um, sprites to be able to use them in these sprite groups. That is the image and the rect. So for this, we're going to create a couple of different um, images here. So I'm going to do, um, we're going to do image and we're going to set it equal. We're going to make a default value for it. I'm going to do pygame um, dot dot surface. And then in the uh, double parentheses, um, or in the parentheses, we're going to send out a tuple. And here we want the width and the height. And so for the width and the height, we want to define a way to, um, we want to define like a, a constant width and a height because Terraria works with tile based systems, meaning that all of the blocks are, are squares and they're all the same size. Um, and so it's a very good practice to work with a tile size. So in our globals here, I'm going to create a new constant. I'm going to call it tile size. I'm going to set it equal to 64 because it's a nice multiple. And then I'm going to go back to the sprite and then make this the width tile size and the height tile size by default. And now we can set the um, position. So we're going to do the position and this is just going to have a default value of zero, zero. And now what we can do is we can just do self dot image equals image self. And then now we need to create the rect value. The rect value is the second required value that is uh, needed for the sprite class. And it has to be spelled rect, by the way, unless you override the sprite group it's in, we'll get into that later. And for this, um, instead of creating a new rect, what we're going to do is we're going to create one based off of the image. So we're going to do equals self dot image dot get rect. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a rectangle with the width and the height being the same as the image's width and height. And here we can specify the position by doing top left equals this position. So that is all that we need to create a simple entity here. And so now with this all done, we can use them inside of our scene. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, go into this init uh, constructor and we're going to create a new group and I'm going to do self dot I'm going to call this my sprites equals pygame dot sprite dot group oops not group single dot group we're creating a new object of the, of the sprite group and then here we're just going to simply create a new sprite and so for this we're going to import sprite from our, our sprite file so from sprite import sprite or actually we called it entity whoops so we're going to do self dot entity equals an entity. And since now all we need to do is add the groups that it's in. So for this, I'm going to, I'm going to give it an array and the array is just going to have self sprites in it. And since we already have default values for the other two, we don't need to mess with that. So that's all we have to do for that. So now uh, what we can do is let's say that we want to draw all of our sprites inside of this self sprites group. So for this, we're going to do in the draw uh, method of our scene, we're going to do self sprites dot draw and this is going to take in the surface that we want to draw to which is the self dot app dot screen and now if we run this from our main file we get an error here and the reason is because when we press tab it imported this it's a very annoying thing you don't actually want to do that um i don't know why it does that but just delete that and then run it and it should work now as you can see there is a black square in the top left of our screen and this is because remember by default we had it set to a position of zero zero so it's in the top left and we have a width and a height of tile size by tile size so let's manipulate these values a little bit so let's go to scene here and let's go to update and let's just say self dot entity dot rect dot x plus equals one. So every time this update method is called, the X value of our entity is going to increase by one. So if we run it, as you can see, our square is now moving across the screen. So that's pretty cool, nice stuff. So now with this um, being all properly implemented, let's go ahead and draw, let's go ahead and add a couple entities to our um, sprite group here. So for this, I'm going to add um, two more, I guess. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother um, creating variables for them because you can simply create them like this. And for this, I'm going to speci um, specify different positions. So I'm gonna do position equals 100, 100, and then position equals 200, 200. And we should see sort of a staggering effect of these. And if we run this, we'll have three um, here. And we did this all from one draw call to our sprite group. So that's pretty cool. Um, but one more thing, we want to call the self dot sprites dot update update here and by default all of the um sp all of these sprites have their own update method 
And while I have, we haven't explicitly written an update method here, um, it is there inside of the sprite class that we are inheriting from. So it is calling it and it's doing nothing right now. Um, and so whenever we call this date method for all of our sprites, it's going to look for that update method that's in this sprite class and it's going to call it. However, what we can do is we can override it in the entity class. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new method called update, make sure it is the same name. We're going to send it self to make sure because we're inside of a uh, class here. And all we're going to do here is we're going to do self.rec.x plus equals one. And now, even though it's inside of the, um, the sprite class here, and we're not doing anything inside of our update method here, if we run this main, you'll see that all three of them are moving across this um, this screen here. So let's go ahead and do one extra thing here. So let's go ahead and create another class and let's call this class super entity. And this class is going to inherit from entity. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do def init tab. And you can see that it automatically created our constructor for us. And now we're going to override that update and we are going to simply call, we are simply going to do self.rect dot y plus equals one. And so if we go to our scene here and we change one of these entities to a super entity, we have to import it first, whoops, super entity. And then we run this, you'll see that that one is moving down while the other ones are moving right. So this shows you how object oriented programming with the sprite groups that come with Pygame are very, very powerful and they make it very easy to organize your code and make multiple entities pretty nicely. So we're not actually going to need a super entity. Uh, we're just going to work with our simple entity here. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a very simple player. And so for this, I'm actually going to create a separate file for this. Now this is not required, but um, I think it's good because the player class can get very, very big. And so you want it kind of on its own file, really. So I'm going to create a player.py here. We're going to import Pygame and we're going to uh, import everything from globals. And here we're going to create the class for our player. And this is going to inherit from Pygame.sprite dot um, sprite here and then it's going to be the same thing where we're going to create the constructor here give it the groups give it the image pygame dot surface and then i'm going to make it of of tile size and for the for the um, player in terraria the width of the player is two blocks and the height of the player is three so we're going to do tile size times two and tile size times three and then for the image we're going to do um position equals, and this is going to be, um, we're going to set a default value of zero, zero. Actually, we're going to set a default value of the middle of the screen. So this, this, this will show you are the importance of global variables. So we'll do screen width, uh, floor divided by two screen height, floor divided by two. This just means that we get rid of any, um, decimals and all that stuff just makes it easier on us. So now that we've done this, we can do this simple setup. So we'll just do our super call super dot in it, send it the groups. And then we'll do self.image equals image and self.rect equals rect and um, or, oops, <laughs> no, self.image.getrect. And then the top left is equal to the position. And to set our image apart from the other ones, we're actually going to um, put a, apply a color to our image. And um, surfaces in Pygame, which is what we use for all of our textures and all that stuff, um, are act just like the screen itself. So you can uh, you can do the fill method on top of an image. Um, and so we can do self.image.fill um, and then we're going to fill it with, I'm going to fill it with green. I might regret that. And so now what we can do is we can go to our scene and we can do from, um, player import player. We can also delete the super entity because we don't have that anymore. Um, and here we're going to create a player and this player is going to be self dot player equals, and this is going to be our player object, send it the sprites uh, group here. And we don't need anything else since we have some default values. And then all we're going to do is actually, that's it. That's all we have to do. So if we run it, you can see we have our player on the screen. Um, and so the last thing we're going to do in this tutorial is get very simple movement. And so in a platformer, all we have is horizontal um, movement. We're not going to get into gravity quite yet, but we're, we're just going to have basic horizontal movement. So for this, we're going to create a method called input. Um, so input send itself. And here we're going to create a, um, a variable called keys. This is going to be equal to pygame.key.get pressed. And then all we're going to do is we're going to check if keys at pygame.k underscore 
and then we're going to I'm going to do the uh, W A S and D because that's what um, Terraria does. But you can do whatever you want. So A is moving left. So we're just going to do self dot rec dot x minus equals one, and then we're going to just copy this and um, do the same thing for D. But instead, we're going to add one to it. And now we need a way to access this input method. And remember that we are calling update on all of the sprites inside of our sprite group. So the easy way to do that would just be to create an update method here and call the input method from it. So now if we run it, you'll see that if we press the um, A and D key, that we have basic sprite movement. So there you go. That's how to handle all different types of sprite things uh, inside of Pygame. So with that being said, thank you for watching. On uh, next video, we're going to be handling some uh, basic tile drawing and maybe some physics. So yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.